Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25179. In this build, Microsoft released a few changes, a few improvements, and a few fixes, of course, but also additionally to all these, Microsoft is also releasing the ISO for this build. In this video, we're going to talk about all that, so if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's Let's just jump right into it. First of all, as I've said, we have the ISO for this build. So you can just go ahead and access the Microsoft website from the article below in the description and select the edition. And you're going to see that on the official Microsoft website, you can find Windows 11 and Setter Preview Build Dev Channel Build 25179. You can click on Confirm, select the product language, of course, Confirm, and then you'll be able to download Windows 11, the latest build for the Dev Channel. As easy as that. Let's talk about a few changes and improvements. So, for example, the spelling dictionary will now use a language neutral word list and Microsoft is trying out syncing this across all devices that use the same Windows account. Users can toggle this feature in settings, accounts, Windows backup, remember preferences, and then language preferences down here. This only this currently only works with Microsoft accounts today with AAD support coming later. Regarding the File Explorer, good news, File Explorer tabs and navigation updates, which began rolling out to the dev channel with build 25136, are now rolling out to everyone in the dev channel. If you don't see these features right away, you can try rebooting. If that doesn't work, of course, you can file feedback in the Feedback Hub. And also regarding the search in the File Explorer, Microsoft is trying out different experiences in File Explorer to show search results. We also have some improvements regarding input. So for example, they are adding the Tamil Anjal keyboard for the Tamil language. And also they are rolling out a tweak to improve the key repeat rate for the traditional touch keyboard layout, as well as the default touch keyboard layout so it feels more responsive. Now it has this rate of 20 keys per second, for example, when holding down the delete key. Regarding other improvements, they updated the default duration captured by Power Config Sleep Study from 3 to 7 days. This is all there is to it in this build. Again, a small build from Microsoft, but hopefully that means that Microsoft is working behind the stage at something big that we, they will release in the near future. So let's talk about a few fixes regarding general fixes. They fixed an issue causing hangs and crashes in apps like Excel when attempting to print in the last couple flights. They fixed a few issues impacting Explorer.exe reliability. Regarding File Explorer, the mount option when right-clicking things like ISO files should now show an icon in the context menu. They fixed an issue where the min, max, and close button might not be visible in the File Explorer when using a high contrast theme. Regarding widgets, they fixed the issue causing widgets preferences, temperature units, and pin widgets to unexpectedly get reset to default. And regarding the taskbar, they fixed an issue which could lead to the taskbar overflow flyout unexpectedly appear on the opposite side of the screen. I've seen this bug, so that's nice that it was fixed. Regarding input, they fixed a sporadic crash impacting reliability of this input switcher, and they also fixed an issue where suggested actions was enabled. If you copied multiple items in a row to your clipboard history, some of the items might not display after you pressed Win plus V. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue which was causing settings to crash on launch sometimes. They improved the alignment of the scan for phone button display displayed on accounts, sign in options, under dynamic lock when your phone failed to connect, and also the preferred state for the suggested actions under system and clipboard should persist upgrade going forward from this build. And also regarding windowing, the fixed an issue where when resizing certain apps, windows near the edge of the screen when using mixed DPI monitors might unexpectedly cause the window to jump and shrink. They also made a few changes to the quick settings to the media controls. So now the media controls will more reliably not load all media when you're no longer using. They fixed an issue causing app install failures with error 0x880-104 in the last few flights. And they also improved date and time recognition for existing and supporting locals when using suggested actions. So this is all there is to it to the build 25179. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that more information and all of that will be in the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.